Look at the flick of their wrist. 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 We actually have some YouTube glitchiness now. Of course, my ass being late as usual, messing around with Twitch trying to get it working. I have a one track mind. When I try to fix one thing, I gotta focus on that one thing. So, due to that, I didn't really get on top of this as fast as I should have, but I'm still going to cover it anyways because I didn't watch it yet. This is apparently a video showing Mewtwo's custom moves, which apparently he doesn't have, but there's a way to access them, and if you do, something weird happens. Like I said, I haven't seen it before myself, so this is less of a news video and more of a reaction video because I got on top of it so late, thanks to me being delayed with you know trying to get everything together with my channel. Anyways, let's watch through this and see exactly what's going on. Shout out to Mancolor for making this video showcasing the Mewtwo custom moves. I don't see what could be so weird about this that everybody kept telling me, yo, Etika, check this out, check this out for the past three days. Let's see what's going on. Hey guys, Mankalor here. Yet another strange occurrence in Super Smash Bros. for 3DS. His voice, yo. <laughs> this time I'll be showing you guys how you can view Mewtwo's His voice is a little... And you don't even need to hack the game. Now, in case you didn't know, Mewtwo does not have any custom specials. None? In the Wii U okay. version, it states this. Now, this trick only works on the 3DS version. I'm still trying to figure out a way to do this on the Wii U version, so I'll post another video if I figure out how. Mm. Also, this does not work on the Wii U version, it states Oh, this. there are no custom specials. Now, it says that specifically. Now, this only works on the 3DS version. I'm still trying to figure out a way to do this on the Wii U version, so I'll post another video if I figure out how. So, what the also, hell? this does not work online. First, you will need a Mii that was not created on your Nintendo 3DS. You can either transfer it from the Wii U or download it from online. Take note of the custom specials they have. We'll be using a trick that will involve Mewtwo inheriting the corresponding number custom moves as them. Next, go oh, to the character similar. select screen right. and view the Mii you just downloaded, but don't select them. Instead, back out and select Mewtwo. Then, select this random button. This will not work if you create a new custom Mewtwo and select a random, so unfortunately you can't save this custom Mewtwo. Once you hit the random button, Mewtwo will inherit all the custom equipment and the corresponding specials. Holy to that Mii. shit! Now the custom specials have very interesting side effects. What the fuck is going on? Both of Mewtwo's neutral custom specials crash the game most of the time, but if what? they don't, they just simply don't do anything. That is so weird. For his second up special, Mewtwo will begin a teleport animation and then finish with a disable animation. The disable does not do anything. For his third up special, on the ground, Mewtwo will do one disable, and in the air, he will do two disables. Weird. Now his second side special behaves exactly as his default side special. However, the third side special is very hilarious. What so the hell? It, he will grab the opponent and carry them around, just like the Navic glitch on the Wii U version. Dude, that's a damn good special right there. The interesting thing with this that's is that damn good. Final Smash for Yo, he's got Palutena in the position too. I see you, Mewtwo. Yo, Mewtwo came through ready. He's decked out, man. He's a, the, the legend reawakened right now. He's Mewtwo making his mark. Model become invisible. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, let's go back a little well, bit. I'm acting a little stupid. Let me. Now his second side special behaves exactly as his default side special. However, the third side special is very hilarious. When he performs it, he will grab the opponent and carry them around, just like the Nabbit glitch on the Wii U version. Weird. The interesting thing with this is that if you use his Final Smash while holding an opponent, his model will become invisible. What the hell? Damn, you two. There's some serious shit going on if you can go invisible. his down specials are very interesting. His second down special, when used on the ground, he'll just perform a useless disable. But if used in the air, he will, will do this. Weird. Now what just happened was that Mewtwo did a strange animation, and then the game slowed down for a few moments, and then Mewtwo could follow up with an attack. This likely has something to do with his final smash, since the game does slow down when it's set off. Yeah. Now his third down special behaves exactly the same, except that you can also slow down the game on the ground. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and go have fun with your glitchy, unfinished custom Mewtwo. What the hell? Very strange stuff. Alright, so, to be honest with you guys, like, when I saw that custom slowdown thing, it made me wonder if there would be a possibility of that actually being a custom that Mewtwo could have, where he slows down time. But that wouldn't make any sense, because usually the customs of characters are always following the same format as the neutral custom, but just a little bit different. So, I highly doubt that. 
And besides, that sounds like it would be really OP on top of it all for Mewtwo to have a custom that slows down time, even if it only is for one or two seconds. Still, he, he made a lot of sense saying that the down special, the, the second and third one were most likely just the final smash. Either way, this is weird. And I can see why people were telling me about it. The one I definitely have to give props to is when he puts the character under them. It makes me wonder exactly, uh, makes me wonder exactly what kind of um, lewd sight. stuff he can have going on with certain Especially characters. Because with the Palutena, it, it looked like a little suspect. I'll tell you that much. Special. However, the third side special is very hilarious. When he performs it, that is so weird. And carry them around, just like the Navic glitch on the Wii U version. I highly doubt any of the properties from these specials, these glitch specials, are s some of the ones that will be there when he gets his custom. It was most likely not. There's no way in hell. But it's still interesting to see how these things are going down. Most likely, they're going to get patched. But I guess you guys can have your fun while you know while it lasts right now. And I mean, I highly doubt Sakurai is going to be rolling out a patch so soon after the like after the big DLC download update. So I mean, hey, this looks like it'll be a whole lot of fun. I'm glad you guys referenced me to this because I kind of have been putting it off and yo, it's an entertaining video, man, especially especially that one where he does a time stop, dude. Like that makes me wonder what the hell, like why would that be? But you know, then again, these aren't things that were meant to really be seen. So I guess they were kind of like placeholders. But then again, some of them do crash the game, like the neutral B, so weird stuff. Either way, let me know what you think about these in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.